Hey guys, it's Anna from Kaiju Bite. So I just wanted to go over my Katsukon recap, rants, thoughts, whatever you want to call this. Um, so, uh, oh, in my haul. So, you know, I don't really, at cons, I don't really do too much shopping, but um, I did some shopping this time. Um, I am a plushie addict, so I got, I got a few plush, I got two plushies, uh, yeah, two plushies and a shirt and things. So the first, um, yeah, I'll go over the haul first. So the first plushie that I got was Mothman. Um, it's made by Sheely. Um, if you can see that. Ooh. So it's her kawaii Mothman. He is ridiculously adorable. I'm in love with him and he's so soft. Everybody was petting him and he, he loves it too. I love his little feet. Um, so my friend Jackie from Sheely, um, Sheely, she makes these handmade, very awesome, very nice. So this was like my first purchase. He was not cheap, but I think she offers him in her shop. So if you could make it to CatsCon and didn't get a chance to buy one of these guys, I think she'll have him on the website. Um, so go, go get one because he's adorable. He, there was also a black and red one. The black and red one sold out before I can get him. This was like the second to last one. So he's so cute. <laughs> I love him. Um, so uh, my other purchase was, and I, I don't really know. I don't know. I saw him and I had to have him. He's called a Croco, Croco, -na, Cro Cro Crocana, Croco Nana, Croco Nana. There we go. He's a banana, <laughs> a banana crocodile. Um, it's from a company called uh, Sorbet Jungle. So when I bought him, there was like a blue one. There was this color. I don't know why. I just fell in love with him. He was the first one I picked and I fell in love with him. And he comes with a little um, adoption uh, certificate. And it also tells you how to take care of him and clean him and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, and then uh, the last, well, no, not, not this last thing. Um, I got a t-shirt from uh, Snark, sorry, I was trying to read it in the camera, Snarkfish t-shirts. Um, we have a corgi. I don't know, some people know I have a corgi. And, you know, Kaiju is, is the name of our, you know, channel. So I got a kind of Godzilla-inspired corgi attacking some city that looks maybe like New York looks like New York so it was pretty cool so I was like I need to have you know there's a lot of corgi a lot of corgi art a lot of corgi inspired nerdy type shirts at Katsukon this year I'm not sure if that's you know maybe I've never noticed it before because I've you know we just adopted him in October so I haven't really paid as much attention to like corgi art but apparently there was a lot this year I'm not sure if that's traditional then the fourth thing that I got was this print, and I'm going to assume that it's Dune because of, of the sandworm, you know, Shah Halud, but I don't, I don't know when, when Shah Halud had a Mothra larvae, and I mean, it, oh, there's something on, oh, well, something got into it, but yeah, that spot's not supposed to be there. It's like in the, within the thing, but, um, I'm going to assume that's Paul Atreides and Lady Jessica. I don't know. Like, I just bought it really because of the sandworm, because I like sandworm type art. But I, you know, and I tried, I didn't get a card, um, which I totally forgot. And, but I should have asked the artist, like, what is this inspired by? Maybe it isn't a Dune print. When I said, can I get the Dune print? She was like, what? And I was like, and I pointed at it and she's like, oh, and so she grabbed it. It was like only 12 bucks. And like, when I went to go uh, look up the Katsukon website, their name wasn't on the merchants list. And I, you know, so I don't know if like in the receipt said black market E, you know, cause you know, the receipt cut off the rest. But you know, I tried to try, you know, when you type in black market onto Google, you don't really get a lot. I mean, well, you get too much. And so I don't really know who did that artwork. I don't know if it really is a Dune piece. You know, I don't know. Who knows? 
but I thought it was cool. I really got it for the sandworm. So that's, you know, that's my haul. So, um, Katsukon. So I've been going to Katsukon on and off since I was maybe 17 or 18 years old. So, you know, and, you know, in college years, I, you know, I would go when I had the extra cash. Um, but then I wasn't really the past few years I've been going because, you know, I get to see like people that I like, you know, and people that I've hung out with people in the cosplaying, even though I'm not really a huge anime person anymore. Um, I don't really watch that much, much anime. Um, every now and then I do, but, um, so I just go because I, I've always enjoyed Katsu. It's one of the cons I have enjoyed, even though I'm not really into anime. Um, and, and so then this year we, we actually got back into the Gaylord and I, and I'm doing a room tour review and I will do a recap because when I did the room tour review, I was kind of pissed. I was seriously not a happy camper on Friday. Um, Friday we were supposed to get double beds. We didn't get double beds. Um, and then, so that caused a little bit of a hiccup. And then when I like asked one staffer about, you know, parking, where to purchase parking, I was told one thing. And then I'm trying to look for, for the parking. And of course I didn't have my badge yet. And then they were like, well, you can't do this. And parking is actually, well, let me find out. And then, so the guy, like, he was trying to be nice, but like, he was like, it's like, when you ask a question of someone who's on staff, you expect to get like a definite answer, especially something as big as parking. Like, where can we pay for Katsukon rated parking? And Katsukon negotiates a deal with Gaylord so that they offer parking at $23 a night, which is a decent deal. I mean, parking in, in National Harbor is runs anywhere from 16 to 23. Actually, the Gaylord real rate for just regular self parking is $30. So $23 is actually more in line with some of the other parking lots. And so, you know, and they're like, well, it might be here or it might be there. And so I was like, it might be like, I don't like, I don't have time to go on a, like, where is Katsukon parking, like maze journey. And so that's, and it, that kind of annoyed me too. And then finally, like I asked a Gaylord staff and she's like, you know, you can just go to the parking, parking, um, uh, kiosk, in, you know, where the parking attendants are and pay for parking there. And so that's ultimately what I did. And I got parking and then that was situated. And then we had a hiccup with, with, um, our dog, our dog sitter. And so that was like another annoyance, but that has nothing to do with Katsukon. It was just, I was very, very annoyed on Friday. So, but other than that, like, you know, once I got into you know, Saturday, I, you know, I had a good time, like, Katsukon, so this is a huge rant on, like, the Katsukon Facebook boards, was the enclosed badge enforced policy, so this year, Katsukon decided that they were, like, you had to have your badge, or you had to have your room key, um, in order to be in the Gaylord, and to be honest, this is very much akin to like what Dragon Con does. If you don't have a room key or you, and you don't have your badge, you are not allowed in the building. I am completely fine with that. I felt like this year's Katsukon was better because of that policy. Because I feel like, you know, I have a friend who's in, on the security staff and he did not have as many crazy stories to tell us. And I think, and I was asking, I was like, do you think it's partly because a lot of the lobby conners who just are there to get smashed and cause trouble don't really want to pay for the badge to get smashed and cause trouble because they they have to pay and he was like I think it is I really do think that this actually helped alleviate that you know the drug dealers weren't like weren't really allowed to come in you know and just sell their drugs as much you know because there are drugs I mean let's let's not let's not joke around I, we've smelled I mean you still smelled some you know like bad stuff but <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't really know what it smells like, but my friends were like, yeah, you could smell it here and there. But um, he says it wasn't as bad as in previous years. And I mean, I honestly, I do like that. I felt like it, it did provide a better environment. Um, I think it did kind of cut out a lot of the people that are just there just to be stupid. Um, and 
it felt like the con was less crowded. And, you know, we also talked about, like, I think MAGFest was almost like this. And we, we wonder because if the shutdown actually also influenced the attendance. Because I think Katsukon has had issues in the past where they don't really know what they accurate. I mean, yeah, they have their badge attendance rate, but there's a hell of a lot more people that are attending that were lobby con conning. So, you know, the numbers might have been, like, this much. But then it could also have been, like, this much more because there's so many people that are just there to, you know, party hardy and not pay for a badge and actually be, um, you know, an actual Katsukon paid attendee. Um, so I did like that change. Um, you know, and Katsukon, I think, has always had problems, you know... <sighs> Like, I was on the staff for a little bit, and I felt like some departments are really well run, and, like, some departments are kind of, like, okayly run, and, I don't know, like, I feel like this con was supposed to be my last Katsukon, because next year we're probably going to Norway, unless we can just do a day, you know, just a day trip, or if we do have enough money <laughs> after we pay all of the Norway expenses to go for the weekend, but, um, you know... Like a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people were pissed, but like I also read a lot of people were pretty happy about the whole, you know, only Katsukon attendees or, or the people that are, you know, had reason to be at the Gaylord could attend. I, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, any other things like I honestly like really didn't do a lot at Katsukon this year. Like, I mean, I, we, we did Saturday. I was in my Django Fett. And I've had shoulder, like, my shoulder has been really giving me a lot of problems, and my lower back has always been, always been troublesome. Um, and so, but I want to really do Django Fett. Like, we were, we supported my friend Rob in the masquerade for the 25th anniversary. And so I was in Django. And it was a lot of fun. We just, like, walked, and, like, you know, when, when they introduced him, we walked out, and uh, we were his, like, you know, his, his, his uh, posse, but... <laughs> um, it was fun, and then like I hung out at the 501st and the Mando uh, Mercs table for a while, and got some fun shots, and you know, and like I really didn't take a lot of photos of of ca cosplay. I don't know. I've always felt a little weird about taking people's photos, um, at, you know, because I'm like always like, can I take your photo? You know, I feel weird even though, but I mean, it, it is what it is. Like I, I did take a few photos, and you know, Katsukon, that's. Katsukon, I feel like, is one of the best places to get, like, really good cosplay photos. I think the cosplayers are always bringing, upping their game, um, and this year was no, was no exception. I didn't do a lot of the, like, it's funny, it's probably, I don't know if it's us getting old, or if it was, like, because Saturday, like, being in Django for, like, I don't know, six, six hours, like, it really wipes you out, because I can't drink a lot of water, because I can't pee in that costume, and so, in, so I don't drink a lot and so because I don't want to risk like having just to like you know pee my pants in costume so I I think when I got out I was super like then all the pain like came back and you know I felt like an old woman we took a nap um we did Maid Cafe oh yeah Maid Cafe yay uh you know we started doing Maid Cafe and I really like it and it's it's goofy and we get dressed up you know and it and it goes to um, Relay for Life, I believe, is their charity, um, and, you know, we just, you know, the food's not, like, people are like, oh, how's the food? I'm like, you don't go for the food. <laughs> like, I mean, what I had, and I can't, I should have, like, looked it up. Um, it's the, the Japanese rice balls. I can't remember the Japanese name for it, but, like, I get the one that has this filled with salmon, and uh, I always love that, because, I mean, it, how, how hard can you screw that up? You know, my friend got yakisoba, and I, I was like, I don't look like yakisoba, and she let me have a bite. I'm like, this is not yakisoba. This is like, this is not yakisoba. I don't know what it is, but it's not yakisoba. And, and you know, and, so, and we had fun. We did, we got into the maid, maid costumes, and we took a fun picture. And, and uh, actually, our maid from last year came, because I guess she's friends with somebody that was in our group, and she, like, told us. And so it was, we got to chit-chat with her. I forgot her name. But our maid for this year, it was, um, oh shoot, uh, Is Isuka, es Etsuka, I think that was her name. She was really adorable. She was really fun. Um, I don't know if I'll do a separate review because there's like not really much to review and plus you can't take video, 
while you're in there. So I might just, you know, post some pictures wherever in the YouTube video. Um, and so we had a lot of fun. Um, and then I was supposed to do like, I forgot what it's called, a class, but today, but I just like, I think between being not drinking enough on Saturday and just being exhausted and being old, <laughs> I just was like, and my shoulder was just like killing me. I was just like, I can't do this. And plus, like, by the time I remembered that I actually signed up for the class and read the email, it was like, oh, we're running kind of late. So I ended up just totally skipping it and just drinking a bunch of Gatorade and hanging out at the 501st table. And that was pretty much our weekend. We just ate a lot of food. We hung out. I did go to MGM a little bit. And we didn't go into the casino, but we just went looked around and, and, you know, went to smash, um, not smash burgers, uh, shake shack and had a burger, had a shake. And then we called it a night. Like it was, <laughs> it was really kind of a boring Gatsucon for us, but we still had fun. You know, we hung out with our friends, we hung out, you know, and then just, I mean, I was at the 501st and the Mercs table and then hung out with the rebels. So it was good fun, you know, fun with your friends. So I'm going to head out edit some videos tonight and I don't know it's gonna be a pretty boring night but you know what I have I have Mothman and and uh, uh Croco Nana Croco Nana Croco Bonana I don't know I have two friends and I'm gonna have fun we're gonna have a good time probably gonna go pass out pretty much so until next time I'll see you guys later bye